that's the perfect time to close that out. Because <laughs> the direct should be starting momentarily. I didn't know what to put like for the game that's being played for this because I'm not playing a game. They were showing off a bunch of different games. It's basically reactions, so that's why I put it as IRL. Here we go. The direct is now starting. Let's do it. Let's see what we got. Hi, everyone. The time has come for today's Nintendo Direct. Oh, you know. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi, and I'll be your guide. I have lots of information to share about upcoming games for Nintendo Switch and Nintendo 3DS. Up first, some Nintendo 3DS headlines. The 3DS headlines, which is going to be the only... It's the biggest collection in this microgame Wait, what? series. The latest in the WarioWare series is coming to the Nintendo 3DS family of systems. Which means there's a Are new those way to drone play Wario, for these strangely games? satisfying micro games. With classics and new additions, there are 300 micro games to enjoy, making this the biggest entry in the series. Press buttons, tilt the system, use the touch screen, stuff from Wario and microphone. Only Wario could come up with this many control schemes. Think fast. What playstyle is required for this one? Better figure it out and dig that crazy action while it's hot. Hey, some familiar characters are rocking new looks. This is the most jam-packed game in the series yet. Just look at that face. Even Wario can't contain his wicked grin. WarioWare Gold launches August 3rd. That's pretty cool. A new Wario game. ready for pulse-pounding post-apocalyptic races and battles. Race down enemy Groks and rock them in battle to defend frontier villages. Yes, sir. Action meets tower defense in Dylan's Dead Heat Breakers. This time, the Red Flash himself, Dylan, will team up with your own animalized me character. Be strategic and use your whole team. What in tarnation? Your friends' me characters can join the team as gunners. Well, you'll need their help to face each wave of transforming monsters. Who or what? Will you and Dylan get tangled up? Hey, I need to put my phone off Never to the mind side. That. I mean, this is a game I don't really care about, so that's why I'm just, like, zoning off. Desperate need of some heroes. The demo version of the game will be available for download May 10th. Usually when they announce demos, it's, like, reviews today. The full game, today. Dylan's Dead Heat Breakers, rolls into Nintendo eShop on Nintendo 3DS May 24th. Are the brothers and Bowser still better together? Nintendo DS Classic Mario & Luigi Bowser's Inside Story is back for more gut-busting Oh, they're adventures. doing another another goddamn remake? Mario & Luigi have been I mean, I love this game, but I mean, still. The you can play the original. All life in the Mushroom Kingdom. You can play the original but on the, the 3DS still, because it's just a DS game. Bowser. And so, their journey takes them deep into the belly of the beast, leaving Bowser to scour the kingdom for the cure. The only way forward is to change between the bros and Bowser. The big bad will even beef up for monstrous boss battles fit for a king. Take him down in this action-packed RPG. And, uh-oh, looks like his boy wants in on the action. Find out what happens behind the scenes in the untold story of Bowser Jr. That's the only reason you would get this over Mario the original. Mario Luigi pretty, Bowser's pretty much. Inside Story plus Bowser Jr.'s Journey launches in 2019. Oh, that's a next year game. Here's the scoop on Detective Pikachu. They said that this was supposed to be Gruff, games that were supposed to be announced Bo. for this year. Something about this Pikachu is a little different. He's gruff. You agree with me, don't you? Runs his mouth. Hey, don't boss me around. Likes coffee. This high hat blend is as delicious as ever. And no one knows why. <sighs> is there Welcome a voice to for Detective Pikachu City, in English? Where humans and Pokemon really usually live in harmony. I haven't really paid attention to this much either because I don't really care for it that Pokemon much either. been behaving oddly and running amok. There's a fake Luckily, a boy named Tim and Detective Pikachu are on the case, facing each mystery head on. A quick attack! Oh, oh, oh. How was that? Did I do it? That was very quick. As of today, the game is available for pre purchase in Nintendo eShop on Nintendo 3DS. 
crack the case with Detective Pikachu when the oh, game comes out soon. March 23rd. Comes Plus, out in like two weeks. Keep your eyes peeled for this extra large Detective Pikachu amiibo figure, which launches the same day. That mysterious mansion has reappeared in the what? Nintendo 3DS remake. What? What? We get an original Luigi's Mansion remake on the 3DS. I mean, I would rather prefer it on HD Nintendo on the Switch, but st Luigi's that's Mansion still that's still pretty cool. Nintendo 3DS. Fans of the Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon game can now explore the original mansion where Mario went missing. The original is better than the sequel, in my opinion, Luigi's as well. Luigi's something of a scaredy cat, but these classic ghosts and traps are no match for his vacuum cleaner. Besides, the mansion's map will be displayed on the bottom screen. That's nice. That's nifty. If you work up the courage, fight the ghosts of your past battles in the new boss rush mode. Oh, that's cool. Luigi's Mansion for Nintendo 3DS launches this year. That's all for Nintendo 3DS. Those are some pretty big ones. Like Mario and Luigi so Bowser's good? Inside Story, and Luigi's well, Mansion for 3DS. Headlines coming. It's time for Nintendo Switch. Alright, give me the good stuff. Kirby can even make friends with those characters? Oh, Star Allies stuff. Kirby Star Allies finally launches next week. As you fight through your adventure, there's a demo for the Switch. Is it, where that isn't there? Surprise! Even fan favorite legacy characters can become Kirby's friends. Well, dream friends. I'm not that big into when you're Kirby. Saving the world, it's nice to have some heavy hitters on your side, even the likes of King Dedede, Meta Knight, the newest Kirby game that I own Waddle is Beat. Epic Yarn. In fact, that's like literally like the only game that I own physically of. I have the original Adventure. Kirby's Adventure on, More dream friends will on be added Virtual to the Console, game and I have an amazing game launch. on Virtual Console as well. The first update will include Rick, Kine, and Ku. But I ha I've played a couple of them. I pl especially played a bunch of Air Ride. I really like Air Ride. It's a lot of fun and when Goo. you play with friends with that. It's like a dream come true to bring this ragtag crew of characters together from across the Kirby series. Kirby Star Allies. Like Kirby Star Allies will Nintendo be really Switch good. March 16th, and the first free update will be available March 28th. Oh yeah, a quick reminder: a free demo is available now in Nintendo eShop on Nintendo Switch. I'm gonna give what the demo a shot one of these days. An epic tale returns with new artistic oh, touches. Oh, Kami! A Kami's gonna. Kami. The grand adventure in classical Switch. Japanese style rises again in the HD version. To save the land from a terrible curse. But now this game's on the PC, legendary Okami PS2, Amaterasu Wii, was resurrected, PS4, setting off and on now a quest Switch. with the wandering artist Isu. Overcome challenges using the power of the gods, the celestial brush. With mere brush strokes, you can make a variety of miracles come to fruition. In the Nintendo Switch version, Use touchscreen control use the in touch handheld mode. Touchscreen! Oh my God! Or use the Joy-Con controller's motion controls in TV mode oh or God, tabletop. Please, no. Both Have methods joy. offer yeah, an intuitive controls. way to solve puzzles and defeat your foes. Hopefully, they should be simple. Meet an eclectic enough. cast. Solve mysteries, and slay countless monsters to discover what awaits at your journey's end. Okami HD launches on Nintendo eShop on Nintendo Switch this it's summer. It's an eleven-year-old game. 12-year-old game, actually. They're Eat up and throw sushi on Nintendo Switch. An adventure unlike any other. With conveyor belt sushi action, oh, this it's screams Sushi Japan. Striker, The Way of Sushido. The story takes place after the bitter sushi struggles. Raised in a world sushi where sushi struggles. is forbidden, Musashi must wage all-out conveyor belt sushi battles to defeat the Empire. And yeah, this is screaming Japan. The gameplay is deep, but the basics are simple. Just eat more and more sushi to pile up plates of matching colors on a table, then throw them all at your opponent. Mix up your strategies to crush your enemies. That if you manage to pull off a special move created unique. by one of your sushi sprites, you may be able to get the a upper hand in battle. Type game. Of course, there's a multiplayer mode too. Battling fellow sushi strikers online can get intense. Sushi Striker, The Way of Sushido, launches simultaneously on Nintendo Switch and Nintendo 3DS June 8th. More travelers, more details, and more launch info. Hello, 
This is Masashi I thought this Takahashi was from Project Octopath. Square Enix. Today, oh, now it's I just have called three Octopath new Traveler. items to share with you. First, I'd like to introduce two more main characters. What lies beyond the horizon? I have the. I did I put download the demo? Yeah, I downloaded the demo on my Switch, but I haven't tried she it yet. She sets off to find her own adventure and gain experience in her job. Her path action is purchase which means she can obtain special items from townsfolk. Oh my god, she can buy things! I helped Such out a someone special in a ability! Simple as that. And this is Alfin, the apothecary. He embarks on his journey to heal those suffering across the continent. His path action is Inquire. He can warm out info others aren't privy to in standard conversations. Next, let's talk about jobs in battle. Characters start out with a base job, but they can equip an additional job to use in battle. For instance, if another character like the Merchant Tressa equips the Dancer job, the combined jobs and abilities expand your strategic options. I don't like the sprites, options. they're too pixelated if you ask me. I mean, I get that's what they're Finally, going for, but like the backgrounds look you have really cool. About the, release date. the game launches July 13th. Additionally, we will be offering a special edition the of the game. Look just, Inside, look you'll really find a pop-up book honestly. introducing the eight characters and their places of origin, a helpful map for your adventure, a sound selection CD, and a replica coin based on the in-game currency. This special edition coin, will be coin, released coin. the same day <laughs> that coin, as the regular that coin looks of the like game. it's made out of like cheap plastic. Your comments have provided the development team with reference points and inspiration as we head into the home stretch of our work with the game. Please look forward to the release of Octopath Traveler. What happens when an Otaku assassin enters the game world? Oh, is this no more heroes? The legendary gaming console, the Death Drive Mark II. Yeah, Travis is, Touchdown is wanders into the game world and embarks on a rampage of epic proportions. I heard these games are pretty good, but Inside, I haven't tried them. There's an action myself. game, racing, puzzles, a total of seven different game titles. With his beam katana in hand, he vows to exterminate every last bug he finds. I get the art style is supposed to be like ha have it and his look like it's he's in an arcade, but having size. it be in four x three kind of really bothers. Brutal boss lurks at the end of each game. Creatively combine your moves to crush them. Pass a Joy-Con controller to a friend for co-op multiplayer, and partner up with the one and only Badman. Did we mention the adventure mode, which tells a new story? Travis Strikes Again, No More Heroes, launches exclusively on Nintendo Switch in 2018. In Dark Souls, Dark Souls Remastered! Plus, Amiibo. Wait, there's Amiibos for this? There's Amiibos for Dark Souls? Dark Souls. A world wrought with despair and hope. In the, the game does look a lot better than the original. One clean victory becomes a moment you'll never forget. I've been playing a lot of three Dark Souls. Now you can really savor your accomplishments anytime, anywhere, for the first time on console with Nintendo Switch. Before launch, there's going to be a network test, so players can try the game. If this will be your first Dark Souls experience, welcome to a brave new world. When is the network test? The Solaire of Astora Amiibo will be released. With it, you can perform the popular Praise the Sun gesture with reckless abandon. Dark Souls Remastered and the Solaire of Astora Amiibo launch on May 25th. How's it going so far? Well, I have a quick reminder. Did you hear that my Nintendo members can now redeem gold points for digital games? Yeah, it's ridiculously expensive though. Nintendo Switch system? Just choose to use your points during the checkout process in Nintendo eShop or Nintendo Switch or on the Nintendo website. Visit the My Nintendo website to learn more. For every 100 coins, okay, we have more Nintendo Switch. We get one dollar. But first, let's shine a nice long spotlight on one title in particular. Please take a look. This is for Mario Tennis Out. Yep. All-Star roster of Mario series favorites is ready to rally in 
full-blown tennis battles using their most tactical tricked out shots ever that's a, tennis that, that jump sound effect was ripped right out there of Odyssey. There are more than 15 playable characters, each with their own distinct characteristics. Chain Chomp is playable! on the Nintendo Switch system allow up to four players to step onto the court together. Today, we'll mainly cover the essentials of the refined tennis gameplay. There's a variety of shots to serve up, like a basic shot, top spin, slice, and a lob that'll zoom over your opponent's head. Just to name a few. Why not aim and then shoot? So that's Introducing what that, the all new that's zone what that shot. Is for. It lets you pinpoint any spot you want to aim at using motion controls and send the ball crashing down. Zone shots are really powerful. So if you get hit by one, your racket will take some damage. If your racket takes three hits, it'll break, forcing you to forfeit if it's your last one. It's an instant KO. That's kind of stupid if you ask me. But don't give up hope. You can stop a zone shot with a block. Return a shot with perfect timing and you'll block, protecting your racket. It's no small feat to nail the timing just right. That's where zone speed comes into play. When using zone speed, the world around you moves in slow motion, allowing you to perform incredible feats, like chasing down a quick shot. It's no instant win card. Amazing feats like walking in place. Of course, you can't just spam zone shots and zone speed the whole match. You can only initiate these moves by using up some of your energy gauge. The energy gauge slowly fills up the longer you keep a rally going. But the fastest way to fill up your gauge is with the new trick shot. If a ball gets away from you, you can jump over to knock it back. It's a risky maneuver. If you don't judge the timing or distance correctly, you may waste your energy or lose a point. But if you're successful, your energy gauge will get a big boost. Fill up your gauge and it's go time. Initiate your ultimate shot, the special shot. It will eat up your energy in a big way, but this thing can really turn the tide. It may even destroy your opponent's racket in one hit. However, not even a special shot guarantees a win. There's always a chance it could be blocked, so watch out. In these intense matches, every move you make presents a risk and hopefully a reward. Your energy gauge could be the key to victory. Will you use it for an offensive zone shot? Or use it for some defensive zone speed? Let's say you go for the zone shot. Will you go for a surefire point? Okay, this could be done now. To we get the your point. Opponent's racket and run the risk of getting blocked. Non-stop, split-second strategies may be the best part about Mario Tennis Aces. Purists rejoice. You can also play using simple rules, which means only basic shots are allowed. Once you connect online, you can play a match with your friends or other players. Play with your friends far away. Events and online tournaments will be held allowing you to compete against other players. Matchmaking is based on your record during the playable. event. As a participation bonus, you can get special outfits or even additional characters. There's also swing mode, which allows you to use your Joy-Con like a tennis racket. Yay, we sports is back. Backhand. Slice. My tennis skills can come into play! This mode is perfect when you want to play the game casually with your friends and family. Or just get your body moving. The game offers a refined approach to tennis gameplay. Chinchup is just so stupid. Deep strategic chaos. 
Plus, the story mode will offer other twists to the good old game of tennis. This at least looks like it's going to be a lot better than Ultra Smash. Third Ultra Smash Mario is very Aces disappointing. Launches June 22nd. Oh, and one last thing. As we approach the game's launch, we decided to hold a pre-launch online tournament. That way, you can try out Mario Tennis Aces for yourself. We'll announce the details at a later date, so please stay tuned. Cool. Every game's getting a demo. We'll have more on Mario Tennis Aces in the future. Let's continue with some Nintendo Switch headlines. Yes, please. Because that was like what? Like, that took up. Now we're two thirds of the way through the direct already. Captain Toad is ready to explore other oh, systems. Oh, tre Treasure Tracker getting a, a port Toad switch. Treasure Tracker a, a is found for Nintendo Switch. Yep. Explore a variety of tricky sandbox style levels inspired by Japanese box garden called Hakoniwa. You can rotate the camera and touch the screen for a better view of hidden uh, treasures. I'm glad we're getting a bunch of ports. And but I mean, this time. We've included a few Super Mario Odyssey levels, too. Now you can explore locales from a variety of kingdoms. Check out New Donk City! By the way, did you know Captain Toad also appeared in Super Mario Odyssey? Yeah, he gives you, he gives you a bunch Nintendo of moves. Nintendo Switch version can be played with a friend by sharing a pair of Joy-Con controllers. While one player controls Captain Toad, the other can assist with things like turn up cover fire so you can enjoy tracking treasure together. We also plan to release a Nintendo 3DS version with really? visuals and touchscreen controls. It feels like there's a box garden right in your hands. I'm guessing it's probably going to use 3D, 3D Land Engine. Launches July 13th. Hey, who turned out the lights? The uh, lights still on. Oh, hey, Undertale's getting, getting a uh, Switch port. That's cool. Sons, where's the switch? Over here. Turn it on! Ah, that's better. Where was it anyway? You wanna know? We're on it! Coming eventually. <laughs> That's the spirit coming eventually. Gaming icon crashes Nintendo. Oh, Switch. and Sand Trilogy is getting a Switch release. It's possible until it happens. All three original Crash Bandicoot games are debuting on a Nintendo system. For so the, the rumors first are true. Time. They are getting Spin. ported Jump to other consoles. Through the trilogy's hundred plus action platforming levels as Crash that's cool. and his sister Coco. I already have it on PS4, but I mean that's still pretty cool. To the animations to the lush environments has been fully updated since the original games, so they'll look great on your TV or on the go. Ruin Dr. Neo Cortex's I wouldn't have think that this would have, this would get a this would get a piece of Crash uh, Bandicoot. Form an uneasy a new, uh, different with the mad uh, scientist in Crash Bandicoot 2 multi console launches back. And stop him I mean, the evil Uka Uka Activision Uka owns the rights to Crash, so I guess Bandicoot it's only fair. Warped. So they own the, Believe it or they not, own the rights to the Crash Bandicoot the original, Insane Trilogy so. is officially making the Wump to Nintendo Switch July 10th. That's almost like a full year after the PS4 version. Never fear, little That's pretty cool that the NC Trilogy is getting a Switch for release. From award I was hearing a bunch of things about it getting like Tarzier a, a Studios PS, uh, a Xbox One release. I wonder if like that's no coming, other. To, coming as well. The puzzle platformer Little Nightmares will trap you in the Maw. A vast vessel of I wonder if it's coming to other consoles too or if it's just coming souls. to PS4 and, and Switch. The complete edition on Nintendo Switch contains two haunting tales in one package. In Six and the Kids' Separate Adventures, you must face their childhood fears across all eight chapters, including all past downloadable I mean, if, content. If it did get a Steam release, I probably would get it eventually. Each room is a cell. Each resident is a threat. And both present complex Because I would probably say, like, playing, playing that game on an Xbox controller is probably feels Not better than mention, playing it on a PS4 controller. Don't get me wrong. The PS4 controller is a really nice controller, but the, the, the analog sticks on that are kind of... Kind of, I don't like Little that Nightmares much. Complete Edition releases on May 18th. South Park is coming to Nintendo oh, Fractured Switch. Butthole is getting a, is getting a Switch We're excited release. to announce that South Park the Fractured Butthole is coming to Nintendo Switch. 
from the creators of South Park comes this Ports everywhere. offensive superhero adventure that you can play Have we got any new games besides Star Allies and time. Star Allies your and uh, come on down to South Park and join Stan, Mario Tennis, Kyle, uh, whatever Kenny, the Mario Tennis one is called again. Okay. Okay. Then have yourself a time with the battle system as surprisingly deep as the show that spawned it. Ah, you just let him hit you. Choose a class, level up, build your notoriety, craft items, go on quests, and more. All past DLC will be available for purchase individually. I mean, or as a without part of the season pass. Without Nintendo, DLC Bayonetta 2 would not be a thing. And DLC 2 from Dusk Till Casa Bonita will be available at launch. And DLC 3 Bring the Crunch will tell an additional story when it releases later this year. South Park, The Fractured But Whole, releases on Nintendo Switch April 24th. That's cool, that's getting a Switch release. Hyrule Warriors, oh, definitive now edition anoth launches. Another port! When exactly? Ports, 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 ports. Let's take a quick moment for a release date announcement. I have this on Wii U already. The heroes and villains Mana of the is Legend of Zelda series are about to spring into action once more. This spring. Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition launches May 18th, May 18th only on Isn't it getting more DLC and stuff? ARMS fans, don't miss this. The, the Arms League dead. is pleased to extend an invitation to all you hardcore fans out there who have been playing the game, enjoying all the added characters and stages, and going online to play the new Party Crash mode. We're happy to announce the Arms US and Canada Online Open. Prelims will take place in the game's online ranked match mode from March 8th to March 18th. Eight top players will then move on to the online finals March 31st. All finalists will receive a custom art piece created by the development team. We'll be streaming the event live from Nintendo of America headquarters on our official site. Stay tuned for our social channels for more details That's in cool. the coming weeks. And if you're not an ARMS fan just yet, well, we have good news. On March 31st, we'll be hosting a three-day test punch. Download this demo event from Nintendo eShop on oh, Nintendo Switch. So my test punch download is not dead free yet. And see what you think of the world's stretchiest fighting game. I gotta try it with on Pro March Control. 21st, producer Kosuke Yabuki will discuss the development of ARMS at the Game Developers Conference and Hisashi Nogami will present separately on the Splatoon franchise, so look out for coverage of both. Inkopolis News Bulletin. It's oh, update time. Splatoon 2 updates now as well. This April, Splatoon 2 is getting an update. Version 3.0 is coming. Here's a brief and briny taste of what's the New come. weapons. New outfits. New pieces of gear. That means fresh new stages. Just in time for spring. Plus more stages. Piranha Pit. Camp Triggerfish. From the original game. And the hottest date spot for the hippest inklings. Wahoo World. And what? Rank X is here. Whatever the rank heck that X is. is an extreme rank. Even higher than S plus. More details are coming soon. Oh, great. So that's like leaks like... Once you meet certain conditions, master. Callie will appear in Octo Canyon. The world of Splatoon 2 continues to evolve, so don't miss out. Oh, we're tripping balls! Now, a word from the Squid Research Lab. Check out their latest video. Is this seriously how we're ending this? Or the or or they getting are they playable now? The Octolings. Oh, that's not Octoling, is it? I don't know. I haven't played Splatoon in so long. I don't even have two. I know the new. Uh, That's the that's the guy from the like the campaign. And he's not freaking freaking the hell out because okay yeah there's the script that's just missing anything okay so I, okay so that is not one. So are octolings now playable? Have they have they gone seen the error of their ways? I don't know I haven't finished the plot of Splatoon one or 
even played Splatoon 2. I played a little bit of the, the global test fire for Splatoon 2, but that was about it. Alright, this is really long. This doesn't have to be this long. Like, this is really long and pointless. Literally just dragging out. So is this like new? Is this new story DLC? I'm guessing this is story DLC. The Octolings from are, are playable. They're the main antagonists from like the games. Oh, so it is an it's an expansion. That's neat, I guess. Hello, Squid Research Lab here. So, how was it? You just got a sneak peek at the first paid downloadable content for Splatoon. Hey, DLC. Hefty new all right, I immediately refund my game. Expansion. Is this supposed to be all free stuff? You'll play as the new character. But if it's just story DLC, then I guess. Who looks like an Octoling. She wakes up on the platform of a dark subway station, without her memories. Yeah, right. It was sneak peek. Looks it was five like minutes some kind long. Of shady underground test facility. Now they're just going over it again. In this massive subterranean world, there are eighty of these test facilities connected by a subway. Why didn't you just do this to begin with? From the station with purpose. Because this is literally just been so much wasted time. Expect new stories to unfold, shedding new light on beloved characters. You may think you know everything about the world of Splatoon, but these waters run deep, and so does the lore. Escape from these twisted depths, and you'll be able to join multiplayer matches as an Octoling. We hope you enjoy this fresh perspective. Since Octa means eight in Latin, that means 2018 is the year of the Octoling. Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion will launch this summer. After today's Nintendo Direct, 20 bucks. Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion will be available for advanced purchase in Nintendo eShop. Jesus Christ, that's ridiculous. With this purchase, Splatoon 2 owners will immediately receive Octo-themed in-game gear to use in battle today. Thank you, Squid Research Lab. Hopefully Splatoon 2 will continue to splatter our expectations. <laughs> you bet. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Oh, well, actually, we have one more announcement. Please take a look at our last video for the day. Give me Prime 4. Oh, great. More. Wait, is Splatoon 1 getting a Switch port now? This is like the E3. This is like the initial reveal trailer for Splatoon 1. Unless this is a Smash for Smash reveal trailer for Octolings in the new Smash game. It is Smash Brothers! We did it! We did it, boys! We did it! Super Smash Brothers for Switch! This year? What? That's coming out this year? What? 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 All right. What's Twitch chat doing right now? How's Twitch chat handling this? I'm having a massive heart attack. It's too much. Holy shit.
Yeah, that's my friend right now that I told you. He's like, what? 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 Sakurai, you glorious bastard. And we didn't get anything else besides that. Like, that was basically, like, how we got, like, with Smash, like, uh, with, uh, E3 last year. We got with, uh, Metroid Prime 4 and, uh, Metroid Prime 4 and, and a new, new Pokemon. there we had they had us fooled at the end of there probably like knowing because that's how smash 4 was i don't here's the thing though we don't know if this is a if this is a port of smash 4 or if this is a brand new smash brothers game if it's coming out in 2018 i'm going to assume that it's going to be a port because smash 4 on its own is still a really good game But still, like, once that game comes out, I literally have no reason to go back to my Wii U anymore, in all fairness. Because if I want to play Splatoon, I could just get Splatoon 2. Hyrule Warriors, Hyrule Warriors Definitive Edition. Uh, Mario Kart 8, I could get Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I could literally, like, trade in all my Wii U stuff if I want, absolutely wanted to. But still... All right, we're gonna close that. We're gonna get some more. We'll get what we I said was going to be the launch music from before. So here, let me do this 